Ruby, Arizona, located in Santa Cruz County in South Central Arizona, along the Mexican border. All of its buildings are original. It has a long history of silver and gold strikes. And its record of brutal murders is legendary. Off the beaten path, it is hard to get to and dangerous. Illegal immigrants and drug smuggling are rampant. Even its name is interesting. The owner of the mercantile was given permission by the U.S. Postal Service to name the town after his wife, Lily B. Ruby. By 1946, it was a true ghost town with zero population. Although today there is one caretaker. Ruby is a, a really interesting ghost town and for years and years and years to people like me in the 1970s and 1980s, it was the elusive ghost town. The thing you could come up to the, to the gate and see some of but you knew there was much more inside. It used to have a sign in front of it that said, no trespassing, survivors will be prosecuted. I was fortunate in that I got to know the caretaker and he would let me in when people, other people weren't getting in, so I took groups into Ruby. Now the word is much better. You can, there are, there's a telephone number, you can find about it, out it, about it on the web, and you can visit Ruby for a fee. It has a fine schoolhouse. It has two crumbling teacherages. I think people forget that if you've got a school, you've got to have a teacher. And if you're in a mining community, the teachers need accommodations. And so there would often be a building that was on a residence right next door to the school, maybe two residences in the case of Ruby, in which the teachers could be housed. It also has an assay office and a mine office. Uh, lots of uh, hospital, doctor's quarters. It has many, many buildings. Now they are in severe decay. Ruby in the best of all worlds would be owned by the state of Arizona and protected. The buildings are not really being preserved or restored or even maintained. They're left to die away uh, their ghost town death. Many of them falling down uh, an old school that had many of the furniture uh, desks, the chalkboards, still with writing on them, uh, just like the classroom had up and walked away. One of the delights of Ruby is that we are able to freely walk through a number of its old buildings. The school, of course. Teachers' houses. And in a narrow hallway, a piano is still playable. Even a creepy sighting of a ghostly figure. Indeed, ghost hunters have flocked to Ruby as well. Caretaker Michael Thesai told us why. Uh, a little room there in the hills, the old mercantile, that was a store. Uh, twice Mexican bandits came up. They uh, murdered several people each time, uh, both uh, owners, wives, uh, relatives that were visiting. Uh, they actually pulled the teeth out of uh, the women's mouth, gold teeth, and uh, that was how they got caught once. They were in a bar trying to sell these gold teeth, and the sheriff happened to be sitting in the corner having a brew and uh, saw him selling, trying to sell the teeth, and that's how they got caught. Sometimes uh, parapsychologists will come out and they'll set up uh, scientific equi equipment, high gain microphones, electric magnetic sensors, uh, to see if they can find some uh, uh, evidence of the tragedies that happened at the building. And uh, they've said they've got some uh, very unusual no anomalous results. The other place of paranormal activity is in the ruins of the mining office complex. A complex that contained the remains of the assayer's office. 
the other place that we've had uh, that there was a tragedy here at uh, Ruby uh, was uh, up on the hill in the assay office. Um, the assay office is where they would analyze the core samples to determine where the highest concentration of ore was. And uh, there's a lot of chemicals to do that testing. And the chemist, his wife had an affair and he found out about it. So he went up to this, the office and mixed himself a little cocktail and chugged it on down and killed himself. Ruby is just one of the ghosts of the desert southwest that is slipping away into oblivion. If you want to walk through a place of a time long gone, feel the spirits of people long gone, hurry. Hi, I'm Bill Ambrose. If you like this video, subscribe so we can bring you more programming from our studio. Thank you for subscribing.